pepper in the fridge. Oh. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to know what's in that pickle jar. This morning I left Santa Fe. I am now headed to Texas. I'm going to stop at the Cadillac Ranch and a couple other cool places on Route 66. Taking the back road from Santa Fe down to the Texas border and as you can see there is uh, not a whole lot out here but it has been a beautiful drive. Cool winding roads and a lot of fun. Jump back in the car and we're going to hit the road and head to the Cadillac Ranch. So that is Cadillac Ranch, kind of one of those famous Route 66 roadside attractions. Cool thing is this one's free and you can spray paint the cars all you want. So if you want something to do that's kind of fun and iconically Route 66, this is a good one. Good morning. It is about 6.30 in the morning here in Waco, Texas, and I am headed to Walmart to pick up some tools so I can get started on the building. The big roll-off dumpster is supposed to arrive today, uh, so I've got to get these tools and then get out to Grosbeck to start working on the building, and hopefully the dumpster arrives without any incident and on time so we can get started on cleaning it out. A few minutes later. All right, mission accomplished on the tools. Waiting for them to unlock the wheelbarrow and then head out to Grosbeck. All right, I am here in the building. As you can see, it is still got a holy roof and everything is exactly as it was when I left a few weeks ago. The dumpster has not arrived yet, so I'm gonna probably climb up and see what's in the secret room up there and just kind of uh, start moving stuff that's gonna get thrown away into the dumpster to the back of the building where the dumpster's supposed to get dropped off. Hopefully that's where they'll take it. So I'm gonna start doing that and let's go explore the secret room. All right, so we're gonna go climb into this secret room and see what we got. <laughs> Okay. We've got all kinds. The windows are still there, so that's cool. All kinds of randomness up here. anything particularly cool an old chair some signs paint Christmas decorations I don't want to fall through I don't want to fall through chairs kind of cool Kind of the only cool thing in here is that chair. I think I'll keep the chair. The rest of it will go in. Oh my gosh, creepy mannequin bits. There you go. That's something creepy. All right. Well, no exciting treasures or anything, but the chair is kind of cool. And I'm glad the glass windows are still there. They look like they're in good shape. They just look like they got painted over, which... Alrighty then. This is all going to come out anyways. Kind of get a good idea of what the ceiling looks like up close. There's some of the original brickwork. Oh well. 
no exciting treasures but oh well This chair was the only cool thing up there. Well, while I got the flashlight, let's do a little more exploring. Lots of weird old books. I don't know what they sold here. I think it was like books or antique. Oh, here's business cards. W.M. Morrison Books, Texans dealer since 1952. So there was a bookstore in here which would explain all the book paraphernalia. There's an old phone. There's a creepy bathroom up here, which is elevated because why would you want to do plumbing the right way? Yeah. Ooh, the Sonoran Desert in the Great Plains Prairie. These look like, uh, yeah, some type of like stamp collectible picture. That's, um, that's fairly horrific looking. Yeah, it's a good thing they have the, the phone lines coming through the uh, ceiling there. That's, that's nice. I like the floor. More book stuff. That'll all go in the dumpster. Oh, that'll go in the dumpster. These brick blocks are kind of cool, but the wood will go in the dumpster. Some nice desks. Yeah. More books, books. Someone was collecting quarters. Fortunately, there's no quarters because that's the only thing that's been worth anything in that. Um, more general garbage that will go in the dumpster. Another desk typewriter, you know, because it's 1985. Let's see here. Someone's probably like. Funeral urn over there, an old radio, another old radio, a bunch of picture frames, old hats. All of this is also garbage. I, I, I would like to hope that it would be like a Picasso or something in that frame, but I'm not very hopeful for that. Uh, let's see. More junk, another desk, a little bit of water damage, I think. I think we could just restore this one. We should send it over to the guys in Waco at Harp Design and have them uh, refinish that one into something nice. Let's see. Yep, more junk. More junk. This is kind of where the the ceiling came down at an angle. I, I originally thought that this was something else, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Like the the ceiling was angled and like they had the warehouse space. So I I. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, junk. Moving to the back, these giant tubes. I don't know what these plastic tubes are for. Junk, junk, junk. The refrigerator, a uh, filing cabinet that's so rusty it's actually collapsing. And check out this sweet, sweet freezer. Ooh. Oh, stuff's exploding under my feet. Of course there's Diet Dr. Pepper in the fridge. Oh. Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know what's in that pickle jar. All right, let's uh, keep moving along. More book garbage that's all water damaged and rotted. Guess I don't need the flashlight anymore because here is the holy roof. And the back of the building, the final thing, this is the uh, lovely shower enclosure, which is super sexy, again, elevated, because why would you want to do plumbing correctly? That's crazy. And here's another bathroom. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I like the paneling. The paneling's, paneling's, I wonder what's above it. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's where, like, the water heater is. Huh. There's a window there that looks into a brick wall. So 
Obviously the building next door was built after this one or was extended after this one. This is cool. Unfortunately it's all destroyed, but come on, mask. Look at that Camaro with freaking like gallwing doors and shit. That's super cool. Not seeing not saying anything that's not going to go in the dumpster. So as soon as the dumpster gets here, we will start filling it. Okay, so the front half is going pretty quickly. As you can see, I've got most of the kind of weird stuff just out of here. The giant bucket of water I got to deal with. But as you can see, there's all of this uh, antique stuff that I found. So I'm going to see if anybody in town wants like old uh, typewriters and insulators and little footstools and terrible, terrible artwork and things like that, that I don't know, some, some cat lady might like this stuff. So I'll probably put it on Facebook in a little bit. See if anybody wants to come by and pick it up and take it off my hands. I'd rather somebody use it than just throw it away. I'm going to start getting all the stuff. I'm just moving stuff to the back now. I'm pretty much just moving everything to the back now until the dumpster gets here. So hopefully that'll be soon. Do you like my sexy mask? It's, it's very becoming. The more of my face I cover, the better it is. So this will be probably one of my highest ranked videos. So that's good. But this is where the real work is. And actually, I don't think it's going to take me all that long because I just like to smash things with the hammer and haul it out. So it'll be fun when I get to blow out these walls and stuff. That's going to be the real fun. So. Back to it. All right, set rep. It is 4.30. I still haven't received my dumpster yet and the company just called to let me know that the driver is on his way with my dumpster that was on its way at like nine o'clock this morning. So I'm guessing it was never on its way until just now. And he just left Waco so it's going to be 30, 40 minutes at least, maybe an hour before he gets here with the uh, dumpster. So as you can see, I've got pretty much everything out here kind of cleaned out, all the big stuff. Um, and I've just kind of moved everything to the back. But I didn't want to keep moving stuff to the back because then I'm just going to have to move it twice once the dumpster gets here. The plan was to pick something up, carry it out, put it in the dumpster. But since the dumpster has not arrived yet, I've just been moving stuff into this big pile here. This is all the stuff that came out of the front uh, secret room attic area and just other random stuff I've just been throwing in that pile which will go out the back door and into the dumpster once it gets here. But until that happens, I'm just going to hang out and wait for my dumpster. All right, the dumpster has arrived. So that means I can start throwing all of this junk into the dumpster. So this is what they call a 30 yard roll off. And I'm probably gonna fill it very easily. Now, it does look like a lot, but there's really actually not that much volume. It's just a lot of little junk and dirt and just regular garbage it's just got to be thrown away so not too concerned about it All right, it is day three of the project building and we got a lot done today. Um, I don't know if you can tell with the audio, but there's a bit of an echo now because the entire building is pretty much empty. We have filled the dumpster completely and have a big pile for the next run of the dumpster, which will be in a couple of weeks, it looks like. But yeah, we've gotten a lot done, a lot cleaned out. The building looks to be in pretty good shape other than of course the gaping hole which has vultures poking their heads in every once in a while that's kind of ominous but everything else is pretty good so yeah this is day three 
I'm pretty impressed considering that I've only had my brother-in-law help me for a few hours each day, the last two days, and I'm only using a sledgehammer, a shovel, and a push broom. So I'm pretty impressed that we were able to get this much done with just, you know, a couple of basic hand tools. I mean, I literally just came to town, went to Lowe's, bought a shovel, bought a push broom, I borrowed a trash can, I bought a sledgehammer, and I had a ladder in my storage unit, so I went and got the ladder. Oh, and I did buy a wheelbarrow. But it just shows you can get a lot done if you just want to hustle and hammer on stuff. The space is amazing, and the more I dig into it, the more I like it. The more it opens up, the more I like it. And I'm really excited to see it completely empty. The gross shower is going away tomorrow. I'll probably clean out this uh, rickety old bathroom tomorrow and probably take down the rest of this wall that's not really even connected to anything, just kind of leaning there, so.